Hello everyone, welcome to the Financial Frontier. This is the video for you on how to start investing today. So first things first, I'm going to show you how to obtain the data you need to start investing and to start making the decisions. First of all, you need to decide what company you're going to invest in or what type of ETF are you going to buy. And I'm going to give you an example with an Apple ETF. Let's go and load some Apple returns. Do so, we go to the Apple stock information, then we click on historical data, choose historical prices, and then we can choose the max time period from 1980 until 2023, change frequency to monthly, and apply and download. Here you go. And then you get this Excel file from Yahoo Finance with the monthly information on the price of apple stock now in order to obtain the returns for apple you can delete all the columns here create a new column called the return for apple to find the return for apple you should take the new price minus the old price divided by the old price now you can obtain this return in excel for each period that you chose here you have it and this is the method that you can use to get the return for each stock or index or whatever you want to invest in now what's the next step you can move on to R Studio to optimize your portfolio in the fastest and easiest possible way. There is already a video on how to download and install R on your computer. The next step would be to create the R notebook, which is, in my opinion, the most convenient way to visualize and understand what you need to do with your portfolio. First things first, let's download the libraries by simply posting them here. We'll get a new icon and the R will automatically install all of these packages on your computer. They are necessary in order to run the corresponding portfolio library portfolio analytics, which is another package that you need to have. So then you can click on run to make sure that R observes all the packages that you use. The next set is gonna load the corresponding data. First, we're gonna load a sample data set, but you can just change this line to download the data from your Excel file, such as this one. You'll observe a lot of similarities when I show you how it looks like. Here, now we can look at the index returns that we just downloaded. And here we have the returns in a monthly format here, see 0, 0.1, 2, for four classes, bonds, equities, international equities, and commodities. And all of these are stock returns that exhibit certain characteristics such as the average return and standard deviation as we already discussed in other videos. To find the optimal portfolio, we need to do a couple of simple lines of code, simple steps. First, we're going to take column names of index returns. And this function would do exactly taking all of these names and saving them into the name portfolio spec. You simply open the function by typing portfolio.spec of all names this to save the names of our assets next what you would do is to add the constraints to our optimization the constraints are necessary so that your investment stays within a certain limits that are necessary for example in the end what you're planning to get are the weights such as we invest four percent of say one thousand which could be a potential amount into the bonds and when you add all of your investments it should sum up to one or one hundred percent Ideally, which will make it a full investment, you spend the whole 1000 to invest in the stocks. To do so, you identify already the portfolio that you have here. Type add.constraint from the portfolio analytics package. Open function, open bracket, say type full investment, and you just add it in your constraint so that all weights or all percentages sum up to 100%. The next constraint that we're going to have is long only, or basically, you only allow the optimization to only buy stocks. To do so, you say type 
equals long only and again identify our portfolio that we have and add this corresponding constraint finally what you want to do is say portfolio spec at objective and our objective for all of this optimization is to reduce the risk and maximize the return so you're going to say type risk in the type parameter and name as td def or standard deviation minimization protocol and define our portfolio that we define previously as portfolio spec port underscore spec now you're gonna optimize it and you're gonna use the standard roi optimization method and here in portfolio you again identify the portfolio that we already specified with all the constraints here you're gonna place the returns that you saved right here and they look like that and in excel they should look quite similar to what you have right here the date the type of asset and the returns here you go then you click op and you can print print this opt there or the results of the optimization and then you see that you invest about 85 percent into the us bonds you invest 5.9 percent in us equities nothing in international equities and about 8.7 percent into the commodities you can extract the weights and visualize them in the diagram which helps you to understand how much you invest really in each type of the security that you want to invest in ideally you should invest in at least 10 securities that's my recommendation or already invest in etfs which is a combination of stocks in one big mutual fund now in the second part i would like to show you the visualizations of what actually goes behind the curtain so to say you don't need to understand this code because for simple optimization you only need to do the first step the second step only is needed for your understanding here you can see exactly what the, happens in the background there are several portfolios run in the background and tested on this diagram here on the left side you see the mean which is the return here on the right side you see standard deviation and these ones are different combinations of potential portfolios the one that you're gonna choose depends on the risk-free rate or the risk-free rate provided by the bank in your country it could be zero if you're located somewhere in switzerland for example in us in inflation times it's going to be much higher as you can imagine here right now you're going to draw a line from this zero which would be right here somewhere until this curve and you would pick a portfolio which touches upon this curve just barely that's what it does in the background here you see the sharp ratio of 1.53 which is the ratio of your return to risk. Moving on, you can here observe the potential weights that were tried and in the end, you pick one as that you could see here. So that is that. That is so simple to optimize your portfolio at home and start investing today. I hope I made this video quite accessible and easy to understand for any potential investor trying to invest today trying to figure out their way in how to start investing. Thank you.